Hello everybody, my name is Oliver Leopold, and welcome to Oliver January, where I do a video every single day in January. Now, a lot of times people ask me, Oliver, I have a little money to spend, Final Cut Pro X or Premiere Pro. Now, if you've been following tech YouTubers on Twitter recently, you would know that most of them are switching over to Final Cut Pro X from Premiere Pro if they haven't made the switch already, or they're not originally from Final Cut Pro X. And the main reason for that switch is performance. And if you can't tell already, which you probably can't, I have also switched to Final Cut Pro X. Right now I'm on a trial just to make sure I like it. And if you want a trial, you can use the link below because it is quite expensive but definitely worth it, so a trial is always nice to have. Now, Premiere Pro costs $20 a month if you don't have a bundle, but let's just say that's around $240 a year, whereas Final Cut Pro is $300 for your lifetime, and that comes with all the upgrades and licenses that you want. So you could get it on as many computers as you want, as many times, as many upgrades forever for the same cost of two licenses of Premiere Pro for a little over a year. But does it perform well? Now, if you've ever used iMovie, which is never a good start to a sentence, but if you've ever used iMovie, you would know it's not that great. This is like iMovie times a thousand. All the features that you think, why didn't iMovie have this? They're in Final Cut Pro. They were just like hiding from you with $300 in between. Now, I have to admit, I'm with all the big tech YouTubers. Rendering takes a couple of minutes for my videos when it took a good 10 or 15 on Premiere Pro. But I love the Premiere Pro editing style, but it's extremely easy to get into the Final Cut Pro style and just love it. It's really simple with the one timeline, but you can have a ton of different overlays and layers, different effects which it's not mainly for effects, but you can get their motion software, but if you're really looking for effects, After Effects is where to go, so if you really need to implement After Effects into your video editing software, then you're going to have to go with Final Cut Pro. But overall, in everyday workflow, it's so much easier to work in Final Cut Pro X, so much more consumer ready, so many better color correcting effects, and tools to use to make it so much easier. But there's a catch. It only works on Macs. So say down the line, you want to switch to a Windows editing system, you're going to have to go to Premiere Pro. But if you've already paid $300 for a lifetime of Final Cut Pro X, it's not worth it. So by buying Final Cut Pro X and saying you'll never switch to Premiere Pro, you are obligating to have a Mac for the rest of your life or the rest of your video editing career, which might be a lot for a lot of people. As you guys saw in my last video, I got this green screen and turned it into this green screen. Obviously, I'm using a different background now, but the green screen processor is really nice. Final Cut Pro was also really nice, but I found it even easier to use with more options in Final Cut Pro. So, if you're able to spend $300 on a software instead of breaking it up to an infinite amount of smaller payments, then Final Cut Pro is your guy or girl. If you're okay with obligating to Mac for the rest of your life, Final Cut Pro. If you need faster rendering speeds, Final Cut Pro. But, if you need multi-platform and you want to be able to utilize Adobe Media Encoder to be able to run on a server or something else, then Premiere Pro is definitely your solution. Neither of them are bad. They're both extremely professional and great softwares, but I have chosen Final Cut Pro for the rest of my career. Hopefully, it stays very amazing, and hopefully you can find the greatest software for you if you have a video editing or YouTubing career. If you have a YouTubering career, then there is a network for you. It's my network called Engage. We can help you make a ton more money and get more, more views and attention on your videos and your channel. Our support team will help you through everything. There's more information down below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Bye.